You probably know that a large number of animals have become extinct in our world by now because of humans. In the meantime, the scientists started a process of bringing back the animals that became extinct some time ago. And first of all, the scientists prepared to bring back the mammoth type of animals in our world. Today, in this video, we will talk about the photos of the real appearance of the world's first baby mammoth, who are ready to give birth soon, and about many other animals that are ready to give life back like this. First of all, we are going to talk in detail about the real appearance of the baby mammoth that we scientists are going to bring back to this world in a little while. By now, you may already know the story that the ice is melting and the water level in the oceans is rising because global warming is increasing. If we continue to look at this without giving a solution, many countries and cities in the world are going underwater. But as the latest solution that can undermine this process, we need to bring these types of animals back to our world once again. Scientists express their opinions. This animal we are talking about is about 12 feet tall and weighs about 8 tons. He had lived in the past in the cold grasslands that cover Asia, Europe and North America. But you may have a question about what these animals have to do with the global warming that is increasing day by day. In this way, we can see that there are areas that have completely turned into ice for many years in this near Arctic area. But this land that had turned into ice for so many years. When global warming increases, the ice will simply melt and return to normal. When this normal state is reached, the life activities of this Earth have started to happen much faster than before. Gases like carbon dioxide are released into the atmosphere in an unimaginable amount from the Earth. Then this global warming will happen even faster. A geographer who goes by the name Sir Gay Seymour guesses. We have the ground above the ground that has been freed from this snow. If we can turn the grasslands back to the past when the mammoths live. Then, because of the grasslands, it is difficult for the excessive sunlight emitted from the sun to melt the snow buried under the ground, and the person speculates that the global warming will simply be controlled again. For that reason, they are preparing to bring mammoths back to our world to restore these grasslands to the way they were back then. George Church, a professor who happily accepted this action, started a company called Carousel in the state of Texas in the United States that invested millions of dollars. The whole purpose of this company is to bring mammoth animals back to our world. That's how we currently live in this world. The animal that is the closest relative to the type of animals that lived in the past is called the Asian elephant. That's why about 99% have taken genes from Asian elephants. Scientists are currently hoping to grow an embryo in the stomach of an African by mixing one hundredth of the genes of these animals, which are capable of living in cold environments. Currently, they have expected that the embryo created in this way will be able to grow into a baby mammoth by the year 2027. Also, they have released photos of what kind of appearance this animal will have when the genes of newly born elephants and mammoths are combined. We can see. Since these animals have been created by combining two different genetic types, we cannot take care of them like normal mammoths. However, it is reported that these animals are able to withstand the cold very well and live in those cold environments. If we live till the year 2027, we can easily take care of these animals in that way. Next, we talk about a species of tigers that scientists are preparing to save from extinction. You may not know that a species of tigers called the Tasmanian tiger lived in Australia some time ago, although it is now extinct. The tigers we are talking about are a special species that lived all over Australia in the past. While hunting animals like kangaroos, it was the top predator that lived in Australia. But after the Europeans came to find Australia. Since they had raised farmland all over Australia, they started hunting these animals thinking that they would eat the animals raised on these farmlands. Because of this killing, almost all the animals of this type that lived in the jungles ended. Also, by the year 1936, the last animal of this type in a zoo was not taken care of properly, 
So this animal also died and all these creatures became extinct from the special world. However, after this extinction, it has started to become clear to the Australians that how much an apex predator becomes a contributor to the control of common animals living in a forest environment. That way, kangaroos and many other species of animals are not threatened by these predators. It began to grow in large numbers, and the forest areas of Australia were completely destroyed by herbivores. Also, among these animals, even severe diseases that cannot be controlled have started to spread, and it is reported that 35% of the animals in Australia have become completely extinct. All this happened because the Europeans hunted the Tasmanian tiger in those early days. For that reason, it is reported that the carousel company we talked about earlier is working together with another research company to bring this animal back to our world. In this way, they took genes from several embryos of these Tasmanian tigers that scientists had taken in the gills of alcohol 108 years ago. They are currently being combined with the genes of animals known as Das Urids, which are the closest relatives to these animals, and are preparing to develop these animal offspring in an artificial womb. After that, it is reported that they are preparing to release these animals back into the wild and bring the world back to its former state. For that reason, we can say that people living in Australia will soon be able to see this type of predator. Next, we are going to talk about a new rhinoceros coming into the world in the near future. In that way, these animals cannot really be considered new. Animals that lived in our world millions of years ago are becoming a species. Unlike normal rhinoceroses, these are the animals we are talking about that lived in snowy areas. They can be called rhinoceros-type animals with a thick layer of fur on their bodies. This animal we are talking about is about 6.5 feet tall and can weigh about 3.5 tons. He lived in the snowy regions of Europe, Asia and North America. But as reported, global warming is only increasing at that time. Although the ice melts in the areas where these animals lived, because of the fur on the body of these animals, they could not bear the heat, and these animals have finally become extinct. However, in the year 2020, a group of researchers managed to find a body of this type of animal with its internal organs still well preserved under the snow layers of Yakuza, an area covered by snow in Russia. Those researchers have found that the animal we are talking about, which was between three and four years old, had almost drowned in the water and died. However, since this animal was so well preserved, the scientists had first started to take the genes of that animal and prepare it to live again in the snowy environment. In the year 2020, the scientists will prepare the genes obtained in this way and he was fully prepared to start the necessary work to bring this animal back to our world. But as reported, in order to grow the embryos of these animals, we need to find the closest living relative of this species, but there was no animal close to this animal. As reported, the rhinoceros animals living in the forests of Africa have become a division of organisms with a genetic gap of about 22 million years from these animals. Because of that reason, even if there are genes, even today there is no uterus to grow this animal, so it has become an obstacle to give birth to this animal. In the near future, after scientists create artificial wombs suitable for these animals, we can say that we will be able to see these animals reborn in snowy regions. But in the year 2020, scientists created genes to recreate our world, not only this animal. In that way, scientists have already created the genes needed to bring another animal called scimitar tooth cat back to this world that lived thousands of years ago. This type of animal turns out to be another type similar to the saber-tooth tiger that we have heard before and seen in movies like Ice Age. It is reported that the length has increased to more than 10 feet and the weight is about 1 ton. The scientists who found a completely preserved body of this animal in the area known as Usborn in Canada are the ones who have separated the genes of this animal and are working to bring this animal back to our world. Currently, scientists have not found any species of animals that are related to this type of animals, but if they find such an animal, or if they create an artificial womb suitable for these animals, we can say that this dangerous species of cats will definitely roam this world in the near future. 
Today, in this video, we talked about the first photo of animals that scientists have started creating for a long time, as well as many extinct animals that scientists are about to create in our world. When you look at it, it must be clear to you that due to the development of this genetic technology, scientists have been able to do things that are unimaginable now. In this way, today in this video, the first photo of the mammoth animals that the scientist had started to create since the time we talked about it, as well as the many extinct animals that other scientists are about to create in our world. Comment below and tell us what animal you were most surprised to bring to life. And if you think this video is good, don't forget to like the video, comment and share to support us. Let's meet soon in another latest video that was announced like this. Bye. Good day.